Hello everybody, Noel from Scratch Genius here. Today I'm making a beginner tutorial on what each and every of the motion blocks in Scratch do. I hope you enjoy this video and let's get into it. The moves steps block. So what this block does is that every time you run it, it will move forward that amount of units. Now, something really cool about this is that even if the sprite is on an angle, it will still move forward that amount from steps. The turn degrees blocks. So, what this block does is that it turns the amount of degrees you want it to turn. Now, the difference between these two blocks is that one makes it turn left, the other one makes it turn right. So here we can see it in action. And of course, you can change this value. They go to block. So what this block does is that it has a drop down menu and there are multiple options. You can make it go to mouse pointer when run. You can make it go to a random position. You can make it go to another sprite when run. They go to X, Y block. So, what this block does is that it will move the sprite to the coordinates that you've provided. So, if we make it go to X 20, 30, and Y 20, we run the block, it will move to those coordinates. If I put in 70, it's going to move more towards the right, since that's positive x. The glide to block. What this block does is that it will glide a specific amount of seconds to a position. It can glide to a random position. It can glide to the mouse pointer. And it can glide to a sprite. Now, the speed that the sprite travels at depends on how much time you give it to go to that position. So if you make this a longer time, it's going to go slower because it has more time to get there. If it's a longer distance, it's going to go faster. If it's a shorter distance, it's going to go much slower. The glide to XY block. What this block does is that it would glide to a position just like the previous one, but instead of a random position, the mouse pointer or another sprite, it would glide to a position you give it. The point in direction block. What this block does is that it will set the sprite's rotation to this amount of degrees. For example, 180. When I run this, now it's facing at the 180 degrees. The point towards block. So what this block does is that it will make the sprite point towards a position. Like the mouse pointer. Or point to a different sprite. The change x by and the change y by blocks. What these do is that they're going to change the x or the y coordinate by this much. So this is going to change the x by 10 and change the y by 10. So if we run these together, they're both going to increase by 10. Now if we make one of them a negative number, it's going to subtract from the value. The set x2 and set y2 blocks. What these do is that they're going to set the x or the y position to this number. So if we run these together, the cat's going to go to x minus 50 and y 40. The if on edge bounce block. So what this block does 
is that if it's touching the edge of the screen, it's going to bounce off it like a reflection. Now, I set up a simple script to show you how it would work in action. As you can see, the cat bounces around and reflects when it touches the edge. The set rotation style block. What this block does is that it will set the rotation style to specific style. There is the left right style, where if we run that, now it switch to that style. So now it won't turn normally, but once it reaches after 180 degrees, the sprite will flip to the opposite side. If you set it to don't rotate, the sprite won't rotate at all. If you set it to all around, the sprite's gonna go rotating all the way around. The X position, Y position, and direction variables. So, these can be used to detect some properties of the sprite, like the X position, the Y position, and the direction. For example, if you wanted to set the score to the X position, you can drag that in there, and now whatever the cat's X position is, in this case 88, when we run the program, the score is going to become whatever the cat's X position is. If it's minus 111, and we run the program, it's now minus 111. Thank you very much for watching. If you like my channel and don't like to miss any future videos, well then please subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like. And if you have any ideas for future videos or tutorials, please post them in the comments below. Now have fun, stay healthy, and I'll see you in the next video.